Suppose you are having a file uh, with lots of data and you want to find some pattern in that file. So since we are using VI editor, we will learn how to find the patterns when we have opened a file in VI editor. So let's say you want to find a term VIM. So for, for that, first of all, you have to go to your X mode, which is um, initiated by escape key, pressing escape key, so press it. And then just type slash like this, backslash. Um, so after that, um, type the term which you are looking for. So let's say we are looking for Vim, then type that and press enter. So now it will take you to Vim and press N for next Vim instance. So keep on pressing it till the time you reach there. So we can see one more and then one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. So it, it says that search hit bottom continuing at the top. So now it is taking back to your first instance going searching down and then we have reached to the first instance of Vim. So how do we find any term by just going to the escape mode by pressing escape key and then typing backslash and then the term we are looking for. So now we are looking for let's say queen. So just type that and press enter and then it will take you to the, to the first instance of the queen and taking back, taking that to next one by pressing the N key. So keep on doing that till the time you reach there. So now it says search hit bottom now continuing at the top. So it, it starts from the cursor. So let's say the cursor started here. So it will look for the first instance. So let's say our cursor is here. Then it will take you to the next, 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 and then back to the first instance. So it starts from the cursor side. So let's say our cursor is here. Then first instance after the cursor is over here. So this is how we search for any term. Now, if we are, if you want to search for, let's say, multiple words um, like brew for then it will take you to the brew for. So let's say we want to go to you can, then it will take you to the you can. But since it's case sensitive, you, it, it couldn't find it. So now we have to just type you then can. And it will take you to the first instance where it's absolute match. Then it will take you to the another absolute match since it's case sensitive so it will take you to the to the point where it's to the string or uh, where it absolutely matches with this with the term which you are looking for or the pattern you are looking for so it can, it could only find two instance now if you want to find let's say flag on then it will be very easy just there are two instances so this is how we search for any term, any pattern using VI or Vim editor. Thank you for watching the tutorial.